I bring you greetings once again uh, from Research Lodge number 147, working up under the most wishful John G. Jones Grand Lodge, State of California, ain't you free and accept Mason. I'm yours truly. I hope this day finds you doing well and uh, in your blessings and peace in your home and in your life. So as I gather into this video, this particular uh, part, I'm going to talk about a couple of things. First being the word brother. First being the word brother. The term for which Freemasonry applies to each other. Freemasonry as brothers, not only uh, by a common participation of human nature, but by a profession of the same faith. So if you are a Freemason, uh, you must have stated that uh, there is a supreme being. Regardless of the name that you may choose to call it or that, you profess that there is a supreme being. That is one common tie. That is just one common tie that we have as Freemason. The next common tie that we're going to find uh, that we have in Freemasonry is we are jointly engaged in a particular labor. We're jointly engaged in a particular labor. Uh, for some lodges, that labor may be their community, uh, helping another brother, but there's some type of labor of love that that lodge is doing. So we are jointly engaged in a particular labor. Next, we find that the, uh, the mutual covenant of the tie, the mutual covenant of the tie, uh, for which we call each brother, uh, for which we call each other brother, is the uh, mystic tie. Because in Freemasonry, there's a, uh, there's a mystical connection that connects each and every Freemason together, regardless of their race, across all barriers. There's something mystical about that tie and that obligation that one takes uh, until he has found him or them as worthy and well qualified as himself. That's just a little snap bit of, of what uh, we look for, what we see when we're talking to another Freemason. Is he worthy and well qualified as I am myself? You know, when you're extending that cable toe, to him, um, there's some consideration in that. Do we consider all Freemasons our brother? Do we? I can agree to disagree on some of the factors and some of the things I've come across in my own personal experience. You know, and, 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 and that is to, to be seriously looked at when you are traveling as a, as a Mason, when you are on this journey as a Freemason. Do you consider every person that you come across a, uh, in the fraternal order of Freemason, your brother. Do they all uphold that obligation as you do? Do they, do they take it seriously uh, as you do? Do they really put their heart into it a, as much as you do? And when you uh, have found him or them worthy and well qualified as, as you are, then you may say yes. But when you don't, then you have a choice to make. You have that choice to make. So that word brother is, is a very serious word uh, amongst Freemasons, but yet it is given out and it's said so, it's just like nothing. It, it, no, no one, do anyone really take it serious uh, when, they, when they are looking and calling another person brother? Next, let's look at brotherly love, relief, and truth. We all hear it all the time. Brotherly love, relief, and truth. That motto of this great fraternal order. Uh, how many of us really, really uphold that? How many of us remove uh, the stereotypes that we may see and we hear uh, away from that and really can really take heart to what that means? Brotherly love, relief, and truth. Uh, regardless of your jurisdiction, regardless of your membership to whatever jurisdiction you may be in, that crosses all barriers. But I know most of us, or some of us, may find that not to be so. You know, because of how some brothers are taught in regards to uh, Freemasonry. You may, you know, you you may come across brothers who just they just don't fit the bill. They just don't uphold the Constitution uh, of Freemasonry. They don't hold those mottoes as you may hold that motto. They don't do that. You know, when you say brotherly love, relief, and truth, they may go the other way. You know, you may find some others takes you may find some brothers that take advantage of other brothers, knowing that that brother is true to his word. He's true to the word of brotherly love, relief and truth. 
And there are brothers out there who take advantage of it. So you have to be careful when you uh, uh, are in the company of those who call themselves Masons and brothers. You have to be cautious. You have to really sincerely take a look at, you know, who they are uh, in, 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 in this whole um, thing of Freemasonry. You know, are they truly prepared? Are, are they worthy and well qualified? You have to ask yourself those questions when you're dealing with that individual. You know, I know I do. And I, I try to. I try to make sure that I, I want to be around successful people that want to see me successful. That's the circle I have to run around. That's the circle that I want to, to surround myself with. Because if I'm uh, in a circle and, and we're and, and I'm dealing with individuals who don't want to see me be successful, then why am I even around you? You know, if you're going to just take a knife and stick it in my back, I'd rather to be face to face with you. I can't have you in that same circle. So we have to be cautious about who's in our circle. Are they really looking out for our best interests? Are they truly uh, prepared in this thing that it's called Freemasonry? Are they truly about brotherly love, relief, and truth. Are they truly my brother? And am I truly their brother's keeper? We really have to take a look at that because if we don't, then we've lost everything. So once again, the term brother within Freemasonry applies to each person who has taken an obligation as a Mason. Not only because of the common participation of human nature, but also the profession of the same faith. Okay? And as jointly engaged in the same labor and as being united by a mutual mystic tie of the fraternal order. Brotherly love, relief, and truth. These words constitute uh, our motto of the order and the characteristic of our profession. They need no explanation at all, but they prove that a society that which could adopt them can be found only on the principles of that virtue. One of the ancient charges of brothers is brotherly love. In the foundation, in the capstone, in the cement, in the glory of this ancient fraternity. So, I bid you uh, good evening, and I hope that all is well once again, and I hope that you got something out of this particular video. And once and for all, please, people, Stay out them bushes and definitely keep your light on. I'm yours truly. I'm out.